Hello and welcome to Football Daily, where today we've put together an 11 of the young players who could make a splash at this summer's tournament. Goalkeeper Danny Ward Wales and Liverpool keeper Danny Ward started the season on loan at Aberdeen, where he kept 10 clean sheets in 21 games and earned a recall to Anfield to compete with flappy-handed shit-tip Simon Mignolet. Ward debuted against Bournemouth and impressed as Liverpool won 2-1 and in Wales' first game of Euro 2016 against Slovakia, he was handed his third cap when Wayne Hennessy was ruled out with a back spasm. A calm and agile young stopper, the 22-year-old could understudy Loris Karius for the Reds next year, if Klopp does the right thing and fires Mignolet into the sun. Defender Jason Denier Belgian centre-back Denier joined the Man City Academy in 2013 and has won four caps in Mark Vilmot's national team setup while on loan at Celtic and Galatasaray. In Scotland and Turkey, he earned Champions League experience, as well as two cups and a league title. Yet to turn 21, Denier is strong on the ball and a tough tackler, and capable of deputising at fullback, a good quality under Vilmots, who insists on playing centre-halves across the back line. And with Pep Guardiola ready to shake up the Etihad, the versatile young defender is on the verge of breaking through. Defender Samuel Umtiti there were many complaints in France when Adil Rami was called up for the Euro 2016 squad over Lyon defender Umtiti, following an injury to Raphael Varane. However, Jérémy Mathieu also suffered a well-timed knock, and the talented young centre-back was drafted in. With more than 150 senior appearances for Lyon already, Umtiti is an experienced and clever player, and his excellent passing range and left-footedness have seen him coveted by teams like Tottenham and Barcelona. He's yet to make his France debut, but with Les Bleu defenders dropping like flies, his chance could come in the next few weeks. Defender Rafael Guerrero French-born Portuguese left-back Rafael Guerrero has become one of the continent's hot properties this season. The 22-year-old came through Portugal's youth squads despite not speaking the language, and has been consistently excellent for Ligue 1 team Lorient, playing more than 30 league games in each of the last three campaigns. Able to fill in on the wing too, Guerrero has earned a move to Borussia Dortmund, and he'll be first choice left back at the Euros with Fabio Contral ruled out with injury. With pace, creativity and a great long range shot, Guerrero is key to Portugal's new golden generation. Left midfield, Renato Sanchez. At the beginning of the 2015-16 season, Benfica lost 3-0 to rival Sporting. But in the next game, a young midfielder called Renato Sanchez made his first team debut and the Reds lifted the domestic double in May. Sanchez cost Benfica 750 euros and 25 footballs for his youth team Aguias and has now netted them at least 35 million euros in his switch to Bayern Munich. Not a bad return. One of only three 18-year-olds at the tournament, alongside Emre Moore and Marcus Rashford, his powerful running through midfield has energised a Portugal squad which has often been too reliant on Ronaldo. Centre midfield, Bartosz Kapuska. Polish midfielder Kapuska only joined the national team in 2015, but almost missed the Euros after he was involved in a fight outside a nightclub. Fearful of exile from Poland's squad, he begged coach Adam Nawalka for forgiveness and won back his seat on the plane. Kapuska scored four and assisted nine last year with Krakowia, but suddenly found himself a sensation after starring in Poland's 1-0 defeat of Northern Ireland in their Euro 2016 opener. With clever feet and an ability to ride tackles, the 19-year-old has a bright future, and Robert Lewandowski will be thankful for the supply line. Centre midfield, Julian Weigl. Julian Weigl is probably the most accomplished of our 11 so far, having established himself as a starter at Borussia Dortmund last season after a bargain 2.5 million euro transfer. Weigl was almost relegated to the German third division with 1860 Munich in 2015, but has since become vital in the midfield pivot for Thomas Tuchel. Despite his slight frame, 20-year-old Weigl is resistant to pressing his technique and reading of the game protecting him under pressure and quickly turning defence into attack. While he may not be vital at this Euros, the tournament experience could be invaluable by World Cup 2018. Right midfield, Emre Moore. Joining Weigl and Guerrero in Dortmund next year will be Turkish 18-year-old Emre Moore. He came off the bench in his country's first Euro game against Croatia and has inevitably been given the nickname the Turkish Messi 
thanks to his agility and dribbling. Moore was actually born in Denmark and only made his senior debut with Superliga side Nordsjælland in November 2015 scoring two and assisting two in 13 games. If he can supplement the more experienced talents of Turan and Chalanolu, Turkey could once again be the surprise package in their bid to emulate their semi-final appearance of 2008. Right wing, Kingsley Coman. Perhaps the most decorated teenager in European football, Frenchman Kingsley Coman is just 19 but has played for PSG, Juventus and Bayern and has eight major trophies to his name. Quick and technically gifted, he racked up 12 assists and 6 goals in 31 league and Champions League matches last season. Comment is yet to become a guaranteed starter at club or international level, but he appears to thrive on big occasions and they don't get much bigger than the Euros. And with service from Pogba and Paye, the winger will be a devastating weapon when brought on against tiring defences. Left wing, Leroy Sané. The son of a Senegalese footballer and an Olympic gymnast, Leroy Sané has some athletic pedigree and proved it by breaking into the German squad at 19. Now 20, Sané finished the year at Schalke with 8 goals and 6 assists in 33 games and is rumoured to be a key target for Guardiola's Man City. Sané is a gifted dribbler, able to play on both sides of the attack and beat his man with ease and has more than filled the gap at Schalke left by Julian Draxler. Preferred to Julian Brandt and Karim Bellarabi by Yogi Love, he is sure to get fans on their feet with his direct and exciting play. Centre forward, Braille Mbolo. 19 year old Swiss forward Braille Mbolo is a versatile attacker who has featured both up front and wide for Basel and the Swiss national team since his breakthrough at 17. Mbolo racked up 13 goals and 9 assists in 40 games in 2015 16 and won his third consecutive domestic title. The Cameroon-born striker is one of three teenagers in coach Vladimir Petkovic's Euro 2016 squad, with the Swiss the only nation to have taken more than one. And his speed and vision have already impressed, with one through ball against Albania setting up a one-on-one -on -one for Haris Zafarovic. Bench. A few shout outs to other great prospects and some young players who are a little too established to be called wonder kids. Ante Koric, Elseed Husai, Arkadiusz Milik, Adam Naj, Raheem Sterling, Deli Ali, Anthony Martial and Hector Bayerine all have bright careers ahead of them. But who will shine in France this summer? So those were our top 10 Euro 2016 wonder kids. But who's impressed you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out our top 10 most iconic European Championship moments. And as always, guys, please do like and subscribe.